All right, so let's say we have a roller coaster that somewhat looks like this, um, where this height is 80 meters, the radius of the loop is 20 meters, and then this height is 35 meters. And our roller coaster starts off going with a speed of 10 meters per second. So we want to know for part A, how fast is it going at the bottom of the loop? So the final speed, we'll call VF, is going to be the square root of the initial speed squared plus 2G times the height uh, of the roller coaster, which is 80 meters. So 160 times 9.8 plus 100, and we take the square root, this should be 40.84 meters per second. Part B asks how fast is it going at the top of the loop? So the speed at the top of the loop is going to be kind of like the speed at the bottom, um, which we just calculated. Um, we'll call this VB, I suppose, um, squared minus 2G times the radius of our loop. That's the loss in potential energy. So if we have that number, we square it minus uh, 40 times 9.8, and then we take the square root. This should be 35.72 meters per second. Part C, how fast is it going at the end of the run? Um, so basically, the final speed at the end um, we'll have is going to be like the initial speed squared plus 2 times G times the change in overall height here. So that change in overall height is 45 meters. 45 times 9.8 times 2 plus 100. And take the square root. This should be... 31.34 meters a second. And then finally, for part D, all the assumptions we made is that there is no friction, so that the potential energy lost in any given region is equal to the kinetic energy gained.